Hey everybody, Luigi Mario 64 here, and welcome to this tutorial video. This is my first tutorial video, so I don't know um, if I'm going to be doing more of these, and if I am, I don't know what they're going to be about. But this is my first one, so bear with me. Um, but yeah. Um, so if you're just finding this video and have never seen my channel before, I would appreciate it if you do check out my channel. I do. Let's plays, reaction videos, song covers, song parodies, and a, lot, a whole lot of other videos. Um, so I'd appreciate it if you would check that check check my channel out. Um, and yeah, uh, and also I do know that people tend to skip around in the video when watching tutorial videos, and I do know that people don't watch till the end. But I would appreciate it if you did watch till the end. So yeah, hope you got that kind of time so you can watch till the end. Appreciate it. Don't skip around and don't watch. Watch the end, don't skip around. I appreciate it. Anyway, let's get right on into this. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use, not use, but um, I'm going to be showing you how to green screen things with Camtasia Studios 8. So people probably don't know how to do this, and some people probably um, find it hard to do, but it's actually really, really easy. So if you pay attention and watch, watch closely, you'll be able to do it very easily. So obviously we're going to need to have Camtasia Studios 8 open. Um, now we're going to need any kind of green screen video slash image. Um, it doesn't have to be an image or video of someone standing in front of a green screen. It can be some like some something something in front of as long as it has a green screen colored background. Then it work. It'll work. Um, and green is the best color to green screen with, supposedly. So, and any color is fine to do. But green screening, uh, for, for green screening, green is the best color for it. So. So yes, I'm going to be using a picture of my dad with the guitar in front of my green screen. He wanted me to do something with that. Um, that that was actually my doing this using this picture for what my dad wanted me to do was actually my second test with my green screen. The first test I had was with a video, video green, green, green screen video, but yes, we're gonna need a green screen image or video. I think it will be fine. Um, so don't think the way I'm doing this is gonna be any different from if you're doing this with a video. So if, you, if you're trying to green screen a video, that's just fine, just follow the same exact thing that I'm doing. So next we're gonna need our background video slash image. We're gonna be putting the background. It doesn't have to be a video, it can be an image as well. Um, but I'm gonna put a video, because why not? I'm going to put McDurga Nuggets video psychically created kills father. Um, so first, what you're gonna do is you're going to put whatever you want in the background at first in the timeline, because that will make it in track one. Um, before you do anything else, I would advise that you put whatever whatever background, a video, or image in the entire box. So make sure you drag it all the way out to the corners, like this. And then you're going to put your green screen video or image next to the timeline, so it's in track two. Um, so how this works is if something is in track one and something is in track two, you can put them, put the two clips over top of each other, so that in this box right here, whatever is in track two will overlap whatever is in track one. So as you can see, my dad, the picture of my dad is on top of the video right now. So, but what we want is to be able to see the video, but right now we cannot see the video because of the green screen. Um, and we also want to take a look at what my dad is actually in the video. And plus we just don't want to see the green screen because it's in the way. So if we get the green screen out of the way, we'll be able to see the video a lot easier and better and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do is make sure your green screen video slash image is selected in the timeline.
go to visual properties which will either be right here or click more and it'll be the second thing visual properties so you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom and click remove a color and with Camtasia you can actually remove any color which is actually kind of cool but for green screen we're actually going to completely ignore all these colors right here and click select the color which is going to allow us to drag this little pin thing into the video and select whatever we want we're going to select the green screen which will remove pretty much all of the green um, it's not going to remove 100% all of the green because that is most likely impossible to remove all of the green in your first click um, it just really all depends on the lighting that you have for when you take the image or photo or image image sucks video I don't know why I said photo um, so if if it does not remove all of the green which it will most likely not depending on your lighting and all that we're going to mess with the settings a little bit for removing the green and removing what is the shadows that you see because you will have shadows so you want to remove those too um, just for removing all that is just play with the first one a little bit don't play with it too much because if you drag it on too far into the bar the whatever you're trying to green screen will start to disappear like this it's Marty McFly <laughs> okay um, so yeah that is the pretty much the best I can do for removing the green and removing the shadows there are a bit of shadows left but that is the best I can do and you're done um, you can mess with the other settings if you want to like change the like the the um, I don't know how to really describe it but like the, the brightness I guess of like the, like the, I guess like the contrast of the video or image that you have green screened um, and you can mess with like the color a bit like which is the bottom one the bottom bar all the way to the bottom um, and then the mess with the contrast or whatever it's called is the second to last one I don't know what the actual second bar is um, really but uh, yeah that's it so you just chill you know chill you can play the video you can see in the background just if you're in the background you just play that um, you can do this you can again shrink it Move it to wherever you want. Looks like my dad is just a poster on my grandma's wall. That's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, you put it down in the corner, wherever you want. Um, do whatever you want. Do whatever you please. Um, and yeah, that's it. You can also drag it out. Um, but yeah, that is how you green screen stuff with Camtasia Studio 8. Hope that hope hope this helps you out. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll respond as fast as I can, um, and yeah, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it's much appreciated, don't forget to subscribe for more content, follow me on Twitter, um, my Twitter handle is in the description, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.